AP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone, there has been an important announcement for the requirement of the post of Assistant Architect from Bihar Public Service Commission and this video is about the details of this particular requirement procedure. So, uh, uh, so right away, uh, let me first address an important uh, question which many of you are having. Is this applicable or this requirement, is it only for the uh, uh, eligible candidates with the state domicile of Bihar or is it open for everyone? The unreserved posts are open for anyone uh, throughout the country. If they meet the eligibility criteria, they can apply for the post. However, for the reserved category, the posts are only for the people or for the eligible candidates with state domicile of Bihar only. Uh, so let me right away tell you the number of posts here that uh, this is a huge opportunity for architects with a total of 106 openings uh, in Bihar Public Service Commission for the post of assistant architect in building construction department of government of Bihar. So, in this video, we will be looking into the basic details which you will need to know for the requirement procedure of this BPSC. Uh, so, we will I will take you through the details of the number of posts, starting with the basic details on number of posts, then the eligibility criteria, who all is eligible for the application, what are the important dates to be kept in mind, uh, selection procedure kya hoga is particular requirement process ke liye kitna weightage work experience ka hai kitna weightage examination ka hone wala hai and towards the end we will also look into the details of the syllabus exam ka structure pattern syllabus kaise hone wala hai and how do you prepare for this examination these are the details where i will be taking you through this uh, through in this particular video so let us start with the uh, first pointer that is with respect to the number of posts as per the official notification of B which is also available on the website of bpse for this post of assistant architect as i told you the total number of posts is 106 uh, some important points to be noted however so uh, various categories uh, category wise breakup has been given in the official notification so even before i go to the number of seats let me tell you one important point this advertisement that is advertisement notification number 23 out of, uh, of this year 2024 uh, this uh, has been uh, released against the cancellation of the 8th notification of 2022. There has been an early notification in the year 2022 for the requirement of 106 posts of assistant architect in, uh, earlier too. So this is to replace that particular notification. So remember anyone who has earlier applied also should apply again. So this is a new requirement uh, procedure which has been released under this notification of 23 2024. Uh, so uh, that is something which you have to keep in mind. The official website of BPSC, bpsc.bih.nic.in, that's where you'll find the official notification, the official syllabus, the official uh, notice regarding this requirement. Um, you will find all the details on the official website of BPSC where you can also apply. Uh, the application is going to be only online for this particular post. As far as the number of posts are considered, uh, the total number is 106. 35% of which is reserved for ladies or for women, 35% is reserved for women. So the total number of posts for women is going to be 36 and this 35% reservation or 35% reserved for ladies or for women candidates, it is in each and every category. So the detailed breakup of the number of posts for unreserved category, it is 26 posts. Then uh, for uh, uh, e uh, economically weaker section EWS, there are 11 posts. Uh, for uh, scheduled caste, there are 21 posts. For scheduled tribe, there are two posts. And for uh, Atyant Pichadavar, that is extremely backward class, there are 27 posts. And for Pichadavar, that is backward class, there are 19 posts. And for each and every category, 35% are for uh, women candidates. The total number of posts is coming out to be 106. And as I told you in the beginning, in the introductory part, for those reserved posts, it is mandatory to be a candidate from Bihar. The unreserved 26 posts are open for anyone who is meeting the minimum eligibility criteria which I will be going through. It is open for anyone who meets those eligibility criteria and uh, is a person of India uh, who stays anywhere in the country of India. So that's with respect to the number of posts. You can check uh, the official notification to get further details on this particular requirement of uh, 106 posts of assistant architect. Now moving on to the eligibility criteria, what is the minimum requirement? 
so the first and foremost the, the, <coughs> the two points uh, the degree you should have a bachelor's degree in architecture with a coi certificate as per the official notification the requirement educational qualification is only bachelor's no there is no requirement for masters uh, uh, as such it is only bachelor's in architecture the, the educational requirement however you should also have coi certificate registered you should be registered with council of architecture and uh, it is also mentioned the date the cut off date is going to be 11 3 2024 that is the closing day of this particular uh, application <coughs> 11th of March 2024. By that, you should have your BA degree and also COA certificate or the registration with COA. That's with respect to the first part. The second part is the age criteria. The minimum age is going to be 21 years, and the maximum age for uh, unreserved male candidates it is going to be 37 years. Uh, for women candidates and also for uh extremely uh, backward classes and backward classes it is going to be 40 years the age limit for uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe the age limit is going to be 42 years so that's with respect to the maximum age criteria and the date for this particular age criteria is going to be 1st of august 2020 uh, first 1 8 2023 2023 august 1st is going to be the cut off date for the age criteria so there are different different dates for age cut off and also the educational criteria cut off so make note of those dates and see if you are eligible uh, that's uh, something which you will need to check in the first step uh, that's the that's the eligibility criteria moving on to the important dates the application the online app by the time you're watching this video probably the application window is not yet out uh, so the date on which the online application portal will be live is 21st of february 2024 the last date is 11th of march 2023 so do not wait till the last date of 11th march uh, you can right away apply in the month of february itself to stay uh, uh, on a safer hand that's with respect to the important dates as far as the selection procedure ki selection hoga kaise what is the percentage weightage for each and every stage so 75% out of <coughs> excuse me out of 100 marks 75% weightage is going to be for the written examination so this examination is going to be a multiple choice question based uh, omr sheet based examination so exam ka weightage hoga 75% remaining 25% is going to be given for work experience relevant work experience will be having 25% of weightage in the final selection ab uh, uh, how can you so the exam part i'll talk about the exam the syllabus of the examination the structure ki exam kya type ka hoga kitne questions honge negative marking ye sare details ke bare mein hum exam ke pattern ke bare mein abhi discuss karenge before that as far as the work experience is considered 25% weightage for the work experience or so 25 marks uh, so out of total 100 marks 75 marks is for the exam 25 marks is for the work experience this is further divided into 5 marks for every one year of work experience so one year of work experience will give you 5 marks so on and the maximum limit is going to be 25 marks so the maximum work experience which can be considered is going to be up to 5 years so based on your work experience if you are having more than 5 years of work experience then you will get only 25 marks because that's the upper limit of the weightage given for the work experience it is given in the official notification that 5 marks for every 1 year of work experience with a limit of 25 marks as the, as the upper limit if you are having a 4 and a half year work experience then accordingly it would be adjusted half year of work experience will be given 2 and a half marks so one year work experience 5 marks with a weightage of 25 marks is the maximum limit for the work experience weightage that's with respect to the selection procedure uh, 75 marks of uh, uh, final out of 100 final marks 75 marks will be the major part 3/4 of the weightage is going to be for the examination so doing well in the exam is going to be of utmost importance in this selection in this requirement so isi baat pe let us look into the details of the exam what is the exam structure uh, for this uh, assistant architect post by bpsc uh, as per this pattern is considered there will be a total of 75 multiple choice questions with four options a b c d at for every given question and the exam duration is going to be 2 hours so it is a uh, basically 120 minute examination in which you will need to answer 75 questions the total weightage is going to be 300 marks so it is basically 75 questions of 4 marks each however 
for every incorrect answer one third of so four by three is the negative marking one third of the weighted so it comes around 1.3 marks so negative 1.3 marks is something which you will get for every incorrect attempt so minus 1.33 is the negative marking for incorrect options so that's with respect to the exam pattern two hour examination 75 questions four marks for every correct answer 1.33 negative marking for every incorrect answer and the total weightage is going to be total marks of the exam is going to be 300 marks whatever you score that is for the uh, uh, compressed to 75 marks like i told you earlier 75 percent weightage is for the examination so it is accordingly uh, whatever score you're getting so the way the, it is going to be adjusted is whatever score you're going to score get in the exam exam score divide by 300 into 75 that is going to be the final marks you get for the selection procedure uh, so that's with that's also mentioned in the official notification so that's the exam uh, pattern as far as the syllabus is considered let us look into the details of the syllabus so let me tell you here uh, if you look into the gate examination gate architecture and planning the uh, syllabus has been updated in the year 2021 if you know for gate architecture and planning before 2021 the old syllabus of gate that has been given us the syllabus for this examination so the bpsc assistant architect examination official syllabus is same as the old gate syllabus with eight sections so the syllabus is going to cover in simple words you can say it is same as the gate syllabus but then it is very uh, so you will not uh, probably have a lot of numerical questions because it is a mcq based examination the focus would be on the theoretical part of the gate syllabus particularly so the syllabus covers everything of the gate gate syllabus which includes the topic of architecture design architecture and design which also covers the topic of history of architecture too uh, then you have building materials construction management which includes uh, construction management building materials building construction estimation valuation then you have building structures where you have the topics of rcc and also the sco4s bending moment diagram structural systems then you have uh, environmental planning and design which includes the topics of lighting acoustics uh, ecosystems uh, so these topics are covered environmental planning design covers these aspects then you have urban design and landscape urban planning and housing planning technique management which includes various aspects of survey gis uh, then you have services infrastructure and transportation which includes topics of water supply sewage treatment solid waste management fire safety and so on <coughs> so that's with respect to the excuse me that's with respect to the exam syllabus and the pattern so if you are preparing for the requirement of uh, bpsc assistant architect and if you want to have a regimented preparation for this particular post you can enroll into the coaching program by kp gate classes we at kp classes are offering a preparatory course with online classes recorded backup given on the mobile app with a lot of practice questions and also study material for yourself study you can access all the resources on a mobile app uh, in order to prepare for this examination to get in touch with us to know more details of this course and get in touch with us you can contact us on call you can call or whatsapp on the number which is displayed on the screen or also given in the description of this video thank you